Okay, number two. So as we get more of these, they become a little bit more intense or a little bit more real, perhaps. Not that free products aren't real, but we talked about money, and now we're going to talk about being your own boss. So I don't know about you guys, but there have been job experiences that were great and some that were just flipping awful. Awful, awful, awful. So who wants to think about that? And when you had that one boss, you know, that watched everything that you did or scrutinized everything you did or or you just didn't like their personality or they just, you know, whatever it happens to be, you could just go forever with a list on this. You get to be your own boss. And if you don't like your boss now when you're your own boss, you need to fix it. But there are so many things that you can do with this. You can work your business wherever you want to. Remember I told you the gal who challenged me on this is actually sitting on the beach in San Diego. So she's happening to touch on her business bits and pieces because she wants to, not because she has to, wherever she is. You can go sit in a coffee shop and have your favorite coffee and work on your list with that and some of your contacts and different things and people stop and see that you're working with pampered chef and ask questions and if they don't you're still sitting there enjoying your coffee you're out of the house and you're having a chance to have some quiet time that works too you can work from home you have the flexibility to work around your kids schedules our youngest is now 18 that's frightening we'll just leave that there right um but he is a junior in high school and we're close enough to the school that they don't provide buses but far enough away that he's too far to walk it's about two miles so i take him to school in the morning because we don't have the resources for him to have his own car so i drive him to school in the morning i take his baseball gear up to him in the afternoon and if he doesn't get a ride home from practice which he can on occasion then i go back and pick him back up i get to do that it's not that i absolutely have to we could probably figure something out if we couldn't but at the same time, I get to and I'm able to because I can work my schedule with that. It's my business and I can run it how I want to. It's not to say that you can sit back and go, oh, I'll just not do anything and it's all going to come flowing in. No, it's work and it's a business, but it's your business and you're the boss. And that is the best part of having your own Pampered Chef business. All right, there's still more. That was number two. So I'll see you tomorrow for the number one reason to have your Pampered Chef business. See you tomorrow.